All right, I'd uh, like to welcome you all to the uh, Wright State University Chemistry Department. Oh, uh, uh, it's magic. Sure. Um, as you can tell, the uh, gas I just breathed in uh, does interesting things to my voice. I'll explain that in a moment. They uh, also tell me that does interesting things to uh, other parts of me, but uh, I don't talk about that. Uh, the uh, gas that's in this balloon is uh, helium gas. It's uh, very light. It's a noble, rare, <coughs> or inert gas. It's about one-seventh the density of air, so it's very light. If I have a gas next to my vocal cords, that's much less dense than the density of air. What happens is my vocal cords just vibrate a lot faster. And the big goes up. The gas that we had in the balloons that we exploded at the beginning of the show, and we'll also do this at the end of the show, is hydrogen gas, 1 14th the density of air, highly reactive, highly flammable, and of course that's not something I would breathe in. Now, you may think that perhaps I was faking this by doing that, but we have a way of showing this where there can't be any fakery. I have an organ pipe in my hand, and now we'll run some helium through this. And you can hear that the tone of the fish went up there. Let's do that with another organ pipe. And now we'll run some helium gas through that. And again, you can hear that the tone of the fish went up or the frequency increased. Well, you might wonder what might happen if we use a gas that was much heavier than air. And I have such a gas in this balloon. This is sulfur hexafluoride, SF6. It's about four times the density of air, but there are health reasons why I will not breathe this gas in. So let's uh, do the organ pipe test again. And now we'll try the sulfur hexafluoride. And you can hear that the pitch of the tone changed there. Well, let's try that with the other organ pipe. <coughs> we'll run some sulfur hexafluoride through this. Now, this is actually. 